Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org back with another IT career questions. These are the type of questions that people ask on the comment sections and if the questions are good, they're detailed and some people actually send an email and if they're detailed, then I make a video on it. If they are just generic questions and if I already made the video, then go to jobskillshare. Uh, youtube.com jobs could share click on playlist and click on this playlist and you will see uh, many many different videos on the right side in this playlist i have already made a lot so you probably will find your answer but if you don't then you know so you send an email like that and then we will discuss your questions i may not be able to give you the perfect answer i just give you information based on my own experience and the platform that i'm already running it has more than thirty thousand people so imagine for past five years i've been dealing with this stuff so i may be able to give you a little bit uh, some of the suggestions that can give you more confident but if we come to this question right now, the member wanting to be anonymous, which we respect that. So we remove the member name from here. So here, hi team, my name, my name, member, and I have been in help desk support for seven years. So this is not someone new. This is someone who, who is already in this career for seven years. Um, so that's a lot of years for help desk. But it seems that I'm only interested in IT, not, com not committed. So that's kind of like his, his uh, overall concern. Uh, my concern, I have signed up to a couple of IT courses online, but they are always done at best halfway before I get frustrated again. Same issue applied to IT textbooks. More reason in my seven years, uh, you know, I have I got no IT certification. So he's been working in IT for seven years, no certification. Uh, I probably took some courses, books, but, you know, he, uh, he's feeling that he's not learning more uh, much from these type of uh, this type of learning. Um, I wish to have certification only because to give me an edge while looking for a job, but I don't like the expectations of examination body. I mean, uh, I mean, having to cram stuff that are, uh, you know, that are to me elementary or irrelevant in my day to day work. The certification scares me a lot. Unfortunately, I have never been uh, opportune to work in a big multinational environment with a lot of servers, routers, switches, etc., which I think has made me not bother challenge myself so much. Most of my knowledge are, are, are on the job, personal reading, but it is clear, uh, you know, but it's clear my background in IT uh, is not educated and made me feel losing my job anytime or fear of seeking another one. I wish I could restart the whole thing again, but if I see job requirements or ex experience of a system admin considering the poor payment these days, I feel like it's not worth chasing these careers anymore. But I still, uh, I still believe that my problem is the lack of etiquette training. Hence, when I came across your platform two days ago, I felt like I still have hope to become great on this IT journey. Um, another issue that I also uh, I, I have is not having the opportunity to practice what I learn from books or training. Hence, I tend to forget it uh, when I when it needs to uh, when the need comes, perhaps several months. Uh, please, can you share your experience on the way forward in my situation? What do you recommend? How do I get started? How do I become confident in my job? Even as an IT support engineer, I'm 38 years old, have two kids, uh, you know, and then I can afford you membership plus. Okay, so, so I know I've been, I, I was going through pretty quickly because that's a pretty uh, kind of like detailed text, which is nice. Uh, we get to know a lot about the member history, how the, the experience and stuff like that. So here's what I think that's what's happening. And this is my own personal opinion. Some of it may work for you and some of it may not work for you, but at least I can give you something from the uh, from the platform that we have 30,000 people five years. So I've been I've been seeing these type of questions all over almost every week. So what's happening over here? Number one, uh, this member is already in the help desk for seven years. So there's a lot of repetitiveness that I feel like that's happening. Repetitive work, but same work and not something more than that. And I have actually just talked about that in my last video that how can you get away from this repetitiveness? And, you know, so this is what's happening that, you know, maybe you're doing too much repetitive work and there's not much opportunity in your work where you can learn more. Or if you have an opportunity, then my suggestion is that what is it that other people are doing that you need to learn? Because let's say, for example, you're working in a help desk, you're assigning a call to a system engineer. Maybe that's where you want to go, system admin. And then what is it that they're fixing? 
what is it that you guys are running in your platform is this the site that you guys are running what type of servers you're running what is the infrastructure what is the backbone you know so what is it that you are not doing that where you feel like you're not you're not comfortable or you want to learn more uh, or is it that you're basically uh you know uh, I, I won't say that you you don't know the help the stuff that you feel like you're going to lose your job the current job uh, so don't think about that because if you've been working in this for seven years, this means you you're not you shouldn't have this feeling of losing. That's something maybe the, that's your own thinking, but you should be confident about that. Don't think about that. You know that you're gonna lose a job if you learn more and keep doing what you're doing right now, uh, and you keep learning more. Then uh, you you're you're working in this job for seven years. That's a lot of years for a help desk. So let's keep let's take that away from your head. I think be confident. Don't worry about that. Uh, if this is the job that you like you're doing, then you're doing a great thing because you're, do, you're spent seven years. Um, but of course, you know, you want to be, you, you feel like you don't want to lose a job, then you may want to learn more technical skills uh, that is a little bit higher than a help desk, which can give you, gives you an edge in the same job, meaning you're going to be confident because you're doing something a little bit more. Uh, and then if you want to move up, then where you basically asked right here, uh, another thing is that I tend to forget things. Another issue is that I am having is to practice. Uh, I'm not having the opportunity to practice. So uh, practicing is something different. You know, practice, practice, practice require you to know, uh, a to have a platform, to have ability or opportunity to work on some of these things. And sometimes companies will provide you that uh, lab environment that they may have or maybe they have test sites that you can actually practice on they have test servers you can practice on some companies are not okay with that they may not be able to do this this is where then you need to invest money now if you want to talk about us then of course we have labs i'll show you right now in a second here so let's say for example we have these type of labs and then if you want to do a little bit more let's say you want to become an mcsa a system admin then you're going to be interested in the mcsa type of courses which is going to be 410 411 412 all in a row and then you can move on to the 2016 server but 2012 is the hot one that right now a lot of people are using it it's going to take them time to move to 2016 so let's say for example you're talking about learning these type of things uh you know practical stuff so this gives you one year access so you, you, I'm not saying you should go for this because this is a, a there's there's an amount that people have to pay for this, but um, you can you can go and do something you know else with yourself like you know maybe get a virtual machine, virtual box, install the servers, and try to learn uh, you know maybe a, buy buy a course pretty much you know there, there are so many other sites that they sell uh, you know very low amount and then you can look at it and try to apply those type of things, but it's not going to be as practical as these like for example you click on it and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on the left side and then you're practi practicing in, on it and then what you want to do to build more confidence you you're going to compare this with your job then maybe you want to create something or find labs there's so many different labs in this to see what you can do to kind of like you know what is that other system admin doing that is higher level you know the people that you're assigning some calls that you feel like i can't really do that you know this is something that is above me how do they fix things what are they working on what is their calls look like what are their calls look like you know what is what are their resolutions look like that's another thing if you really want to learn something practical look at their resolutions of course they're putting the resolutions and ticketing systems look at their resolutions and then you don't need to ask them if you feel like you, that's not the area you're not you know comfortable with them to ask these type of questions then just look at the resolutions and try to at least recreate some of the things in your practice environment whatever practice environment you're using that's that that's a confidence building right there because a lot of people uh, when they come to a platform uh, i ask them that you know why why do you feel that you your confidence level is low and then uh, most of them uh, have the same uh, answer that the one that you just put in there that most of the people that they, they just take to radical courses theories they look at the videos the videos goes by and then when it's when it times to when they open the server uh, they have no clue what's going on because you usually forget things or there's something in the middle that just you know something new and now the, the video didn't match so that's where why I like these type of, uh, uh, you know, guides, because they don't they don't change. They are the same. So you learn the same thing. They don't change. You do practical. Everything is practical. So, if, for example, if I click on, let's say, for example, 
uh, this course. If I click on it and I open install server and then I click on start, then on the left side, everything is going to be the same. It won't change till they change the whole lab. And, and then it's still going to be the same thing because you're following a guide. You know, you're not following a video over here, even though we're making a video on top of it, but that's just to make it easy for people to follow things. But uh, that's not gonna happen for, for many, many labs because we don't have that kind of ability. But you see why I say this is one year access. So you're not going to forget it. And other thing is that uh, when you go back here, you ask that, um, how do I become confident in my job even as an IT support engineer? Meaning even as an IT support engineer. Now, becoming confident is, is something that requires a mental thing too. Like, you know, mentally you have to uh, like say that, you know what, I am going to learn that new thing that I've been, I'm kind of scared of that, you know, I, or I don't like it, or maybe for some reason you feel like that's a hard job, you know, or maybe you feel like that's, that requires a lot of knowledge. You need to take that practical step. You need to actually get into some of the things that you were not doing for the past seven years. I'm sure there are something in the, in the seven years, uh, you know, period that there's some things that you, you don't like to take on. To get confidence anywhere, you gotta take it on. And then that, trust me, when I came to US, I started as a busboy and I have no clue what's going on, the culture, people, everything was different, language. And the first few months were like hell for me. So you know, you can think of that, you know, coming to a very different culture um, and, and now you have a different society and everything. How did I felt at that time? My confidence was like this much, I couldn't, do anything but the the moment I started working somewhere the moment I start talking to people the moment I start taking on jobs picking up calls you know and working on different things try to understand what they're doing and try to respect their you know the way they do things that's where you're gonna build the confidence you build confidence with people you build confidence with the whole community so my suggestion to you is that go around in your area in your job try to expand wherever you are right now i think you're doing more repetitiveness repetitive work and you're in your own area which you're comfortable but you need to get out of that area now if you get out and say what is this system admin doing let me just make a little bit more conversation with this person let me just be open up with this so i want to learn more maybe they will have something more to offer uh you know or maybe if you feel like you don't want to ask too many questions and try to look what they're doing you know maybe what 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 are, what are the the things that they're working on sites databases you know infrastructure try to learn what infrastructure they're using how did that connect everything try to make a whole image because the, the moment you, you, you understand how your network is designed and you understand your network, this is the moment that you can feel that very confident about yourself because now you are at a different level. You can go anywhere in the world right now and then it's going to take you a few, few days or a month or two months to understand the whole environment. No, even if you take me with having so much experience in this type of stuff, you know, you, my own trainings, my own working, I can go to a new place right now and I, my, my confidence will drop uh, you know, um, pretty low, but the the way you train your mind is the big thing. My train, my mind is trained now. When I go there, the first thing I'm gonna look for: how did they design the infrastructure? What are the equipment that are being used? You know, what type of technology they are using? What type of firewall they are using? What are the names that? Can I go in the documentation? Let me learn about it a little bit more. Can uh, can I do? Uh, can I can I see these type of things in my labs? The one that we have right now. These are so many different labs. Can I find the same exact lab, uh, same equipment? For example, firewall. A lot of people uh, are scared of ASA, Cisco type of firewall. They like these nice graphical type of firewalls. Nobody like command line, but then you have ability to do something like that and nobody's gonna give it to you on the job because they're actually using that. No one's gonna let you get into their firewalls, uh, you know, because that's different jobs. So this is your opportunity right here. So when you start doing this and you start recreating the whole environment, of course, you're not going to make it 100%. Even if you make it a 60%, your, your confidence is still going really, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be really high right there. So um, my suggestion to you right now is that, and I'm at the same level, I'm, 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 I just turned 32 right now. So, you know, and I have a kid too. The way I do things is that I, I, I'm a very practical person. Um, and I really don't like those certification type of things that you have mentioned too. 
but since you already have experience, you need to add something to spice it up. Your resume needs to be a little bit spiced up. So then you, you say that I have this much, this many years of experience. I have a job skill share certification. It, it adds a uniqueness to it. A lot of people ask about certification value. It's a uniqueness. And I made a whole video on that. So if somebody wants to know what is the value of our certification, it is the uniqueness. That's, that's all it is. You have two people. They're going to have MCSA. They're going to have seven years. You have seven years. You have MCSA. And what is the uniqueness? thing about you you got our certification so that's why i tell a lot of people that that's why it's successful why why we are in the market right now why we are so the way we train are different you know so people are uh, when they go to interviews they have a very different way to uh, you know tackle their interviews so that's kind of like what our goal is our goal is not to just put a video out there you know a theoretical video and then you're done we don't do this we we work on every angle so my suggestion to you is that uh, um, if you want to go for the labs, then go for the lab membership that actually gives you lab. Now, I don't just say go and buy the, the premium membership and then you have all the access. You can go for the plus membership. It gives you full access to all of these labs for five days. So you have five days to see if this is worth for you. You have seven years of experience, so I'm sure you're going to be able to say that, yeah, hey, this is this is good for me. Or you're going to say, no, nah, this is not good for me because you already got the, uh, uh, sorry, the membership plus. So this comes as a trial. Like, you know, you have full access to just kind of like practice things and just check it if this is something that you were looking for. Because if you were taking the video courses uh, on different type of platforms and you got bored, then I'm sure this is what you were looking for. You needed that practical practice. You needed ability to work on different things. You need to get out of that repetitiveness that you were doing for seven years. Now it's time for you to move on to different things. Try to do some of the advanced stuff. Try to hold on one certification. MCSA would be the one that I would prefer. And then move on to different things. Slowly, slowly try to learn. And then if you think that there's no more job, job growth in that area, then keep working on there while you're applying for the other jobs. That's how people do it, you know. There's nothing to hide about this. You know, if you don't get something better with your skills, your ability, you know, you, you have a lot of uh, things to offer, then do these kind of things and move up. That's all it is. Like I said, be practical. The moment you start do acting for it, acting, meaning like you, you put an action to it, that's where your confidence level is going to grow, grow. And that's where your job level uh, are, uh, from help desk to a system admin or any other places uh, it will grow uh, and the reason i say system admin is i think f i feel like you're interested in that area but if you're not interested in that of course there's cisco route to it um i'm not going to go towards too much cisco because that's not my area too much i have a lot of experience in it but i don't that's not where i'm like my experience main main experience my main experience is security and system admin site which i am going to be doing a lot this year um, also virtualizations and stuff like that so you do have a lot of uh, things to um, check in that membership plus trial uh, access that you have uh, then you can decide if you really want to do this for one year so that's going to be my suggestion and if you don't feel like this is not your this is not the maybe this doesn't uh, sound good to you then uh, you know still you should go for other labs other environment that offer labs make your own labs or maybe your company may be offering you a labs or something try to do that but get practical try to learn this stuff that would be my suggestion for your uh, scenario there's not much. I think I already answered most of your questions. You just need to be more mm -hmm. practical. Go for it. Uh, take some actions. Okay. Thank you so much. If I miss something, then put a comment and we can discuss more in the comment and for this area. If you think that, you know, um, uh, for other people that I have not covered something in that playlist and you need to, uh, uh, you need a video on it, then please write a detailed comment or in the email support at jobskillshare.org write a detail uh you know paragraph like this one thank you so much and wish you all the best and i hope you um you know get confidence and also move up in your career thank you